Peace. This Equality Fragrances coming to you from PG County, Maryland. Welcome to my cipher. A cipher is a person, place, a thing within my circumference, the understanding of my cipher. It's peace. For all those returning to my channel, I humbly appreciate your support. For all those new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified when I drop some new videos. The like button goes a long way. If you do not like the content, hit the dislike button. Comment under the video. I listen to constructive criticism. Now, don't mean I'm going to do everything you say I'm that you want me to do, but I listen nonetheless. I'm not going to be a, a, a jackass about it. So, leave your comments down below. Good, bad, or indifferent. It is what it is, but straight up negativity, I ain't going to entertain you. Not over no way. So, it is what it is. But with that being said, we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. The fact that that many of y'all are entertained or even watching me, Listen, I'm going to salute you all. My day ones, you already know what it is. For everybody new, a good portion of you all, 300, 400 of you all, came over from Gen Sense channel. Welcome, and I'm going to always salute Gen Sense for that. So, with that being said, I ain't going to take up too much time. Come on in, sit down, and let's build. Today, I'm going to be giving you my first impressions from the house of Navitus Parfums. This is a Rashad Bel Belhaza exclusive. And the name of this fragrance is Viva More. As you can see, it's still in the plastic. I haven't opened it. I haven't smelt it. Now, my caveat with first impressions is I don't like first impressions. The reason why, because whatever I think and I speak on a fragrance without actually wearing it always changes after 10 days. And the reason is when you watch a movie over and over again, you pick up different nuances, you pick up on different notes, and sometimes you can differentiate how something really smells when you really wear it. Doing a full review on something after wearing it two days is utterly ridiculous to me. So, but because this is a polarizing house, and this is also a fragrance that I don't think Stephen from Red Lessons had anybody speak on yet, I'm gonna go ahead and give you my first impressions on it. We're gonna do the unboxing, um, I will go over the presentation a little bit and um, let's just see what we think about it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start unboxing this and see what we have. Okay, let's get the unboxing. I'm going to try to do this raw with no skips. Take it as you can see. I have not opened this. So for those who aren't familiar with Navitus, it comes with a sleeve sleeve that comes off get that up out of here y'all know i don't be caring about presentations man but it is what it is it's a little bit different you have um good like cloth kind of material um the the letters are raised some gold trimming and it opens up like so nothing in the inside get that up out of here you have a card that has the notes, and I'll go over that. And you have the fragrance, which is setting in here. This is a 50, and this is like a satin. It's a pretty good presentation if you care about that. Uh, this says in the back, it says uh, Rashid, um, Bel Rashid Belhaza, exclusive, alluring, confident, irresistible. And then it has Navitus Parfums. You have, I mean, it's a very thick glass like the other bottle. So it's the glass is nice and sturdy. Um, you have, well, I got fingerprints on it already, but it's blue. You got uh, Viva More, you got Parfum, and you got Navitus Parfums at the bottom. You have a different cap. I know people was talking about the Rosier. They changed the cap up a little bit. And again, it's a fingerprint magnet. Nothing too crazy, but it's a heavy, nice sturdy metal cap and there's the itemizer let's see and that is going to be the presentation of viva more so let's go ahead and go over the notes in the top you're going to have lemon pineapple rosewood pink peppercorn you're going to have patchouli oak moss rose and saffron in the heart and you're going to have sandalwood dark amber woods leather and musk in the base now that note breakdown sounds familiar. 
but I don't want to assume. It sounds like you already know, let's say it. It sounds like it could smell similar to Aventus. Is that the case? I don't know. Let's see. Here we go. One. On two. It's a pressurized. I mean, Navitus has some of the best atomizers in the market. That pressurized atomizer. I can smell it from here. Okay. Okay. So this is extremely familiar to me. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm back. Let me try something real quick. Okay, what you get with Viva More, in my first impressions, what you get is a Ventus with some Baccarat Rouge, period. Now, I went upstairs to go get Alexandria Fragrance Game Time, which is there to show up, which is there. Uh, Aventus Baccarat Rouge um, mixed clone thingy they have going on. Um, so, which I love that fragrance by the way. Game time. Love it. Okay. What I will say is this is smoother than game time. It's a, it's a smoother fragrance. You can smell the, the Aventus DNA in it. And you can smell kind of like the saffron. The spicy saffron and the oak moss is giving off that really like Baccarat Rouge, but it's really in the background. Now, this is coming off a little light, unlike his other fragrances I have tried. It's coming off a tad bit light. I definitely want to see what this is going to do after 10 days as far as longevity. So, one of the fragrances I own a full presentation of is Absolutio, which I adore. It's highly complimented. Did I want to pay $195 for it in the grand scheme of things? No, but it's a great fragrance nonetheless. That performed. I was getting 12 hours on that. This it, it it's sitting not necessarily a skin scent but it's not coming off my skin the way i would like it game time comes off my skin more game time now that i smell these two game time is a little bit sharper it's sharper This is smoother. So this is almost like a niche version of game time, if that makes sense. It's a little you can tell that the um the ingredients used in here are better composed. You, you can just tell. Um, but how would they perform? I know how game time performs. I don't know. We'll see. Now this is a 50 ml, and this is going for currently. 95 stripper ones man oh and by the way this wasn't sent to me i paid my hard-earned money for this so i paid for this this wasn't sent to me now 95 stripper ones for a indie house is about what you're gonna pay in a fragrance now the difference is this is what a for 55 in mail i think it's about 60 bucks but the presentation ain't, and I mean, it's a non-comparable, right? We can we can agree on that. That this presentation is better than this presentation. It is what it is. No shot at Alexander, but the presentation on this is is superior to that. Um, and the itemizer is better. So, for the extra 
$20 if you care about presentations and how a bottle looks on your shelf. Yes, this is giving you the better presentation. Is it worth the extra $20, $30 for a really kind of similar fragrance? I don't know, man. It's your money. You got to figure out what y'all want to do with it. I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money. Listen, wear what you like, when you like, forget the hype. Um, For me, I ain't as bad. 95, and that's about what you pay for something. 85, 65, 95 is what you pay for a 50 ml. Now, this is marked down to 95. I believe they're trying to sell it for 135 at retail. I wouldn't pay 135 for it. No way. I wouldn't do what you want to do. Um, but for 95, mm, we'll see. But again, this is my first impression. I'm not going to drag this on too long. It's smelling rather light on skin. And I don't know if I'm going nose blind to it. So I'm not going to speak no more on this fragrance. I'm going to wear it starting today. This will be my scent of the day. And this will get t at least 10 days of wearing. The way I wear it is three days. Three days on, one day off, two days on, two days off. And I can't, that way I just don't get tired of a fragrance. I keep myself interested, but I'll get about two weeks. So in about two weeks, I'm going to come back a week and a half to two weeks. I'm going to come back and do a full review on this, but it's light. <laughs> it's light. And game time is stronger. So we'll see, but that's what I get. I get a Aventus Baccarat Rouge mixture is what this fragrance is in the long haul. You make the choice if you want to go out and buy it. I'm interested to see what his other three fragrances are. I'll find a way to get those. I'll figure it out. I might buy that depending on what's going on with the money and this coronavirus. But anyway, that's my first impressions of Viva More by Navitus Parfum. If you bought this and you tried it, leave a comment down below. Let people know how it's been performing for you. Again, I'm just now cracking it open, so I can't say. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on IG. I put out a lot of information on there, and I'll probably be discussing this a little bit day by day on my IG. I might make a couple of posts like day one and put a little stuff out there. So anyway, I'm going to leave you the way I greeted you, and that's in universal language. Peace.